What's happening YouTube? Chevelle74US here and today I'm coming at you with another tool review. Today we're going to take a look at the CDI 3 8 inch drive torque wrench. This torque wrench is rated from 10 pounds all the way up to 100 foot pounds. Model number for this torque wrench is the 102 MFRPH and it is manufactured by CDI which is a subsidiary of Snap-on Tools. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research on these and uh, I discovered that Snap-on never manufactured their own torque wrenches. They, uh, they sub them out to other companies as I'm sure they do with uh, many other of their tools. Um, they originally uh, had their torque wrenches manufactured by a company called Precision Instruments until about, I believe, 2002. And then after that, uh, they, uh, they, acquired, uh, or they acquired CDI, who has been manufacturing their torque wrenches. So uh, CDI, which is their subsidiary, manufactures their Snap-on branded torque wrenches as well as their uh, quote-unquote industrial line, which is uh, CDI. And um, the main difference between these torque wrenches and the Snap-on branded torque wrenches is in the, uh, the head. So uh, from the research I've done, the, uh, the head is manufactured uh, by another company, uh, overseas company. I couldn't, I couldn't find out who exactly makes the, uh, the ratcheting head, but the internal components, the guts, if you will, are manufactured and for all intent and purposes are the same as what's inside of a Snap-on 3 8 wrench. Now this is the information I've acquired by doing a little bit of internet research. It took me a long time to decide what torque wrench I wanted to get. You know, I wanted obviously, like you guys, wanted to get the best quality for the money or bang for your buck, if you will. So, uh, if you if, if I'm wrong with any of this information, please please post it in the comment section because uh, uh, it'll be a benefit to all of us to to have the right information. But as far as I know, uh, I'm as correct as as uh, as I am at the moment. Um, so. Without further ado, let's dig in and have a have have more of a deeper look. So as you can see, this comes in a nice uh, blow molded case, and inside you have a little instruction booklet here, operation manual. It's the uh, Comfort Grip Micrometer Adjustable Torque Wrench, CDI Torque Products. see CDI torque products a snap-on specialty tools brand uh, based out of San Jose Avenue City of Industry California and you can find more information about about their products at CDI torque.com has a little uh, handy conversion table certification this torque wrench as calibrated at the factory is certified to meet the current ASME specification. Additionally, all wrenches are calibrated on torque standard uh, it's traceable to the National Institute of Standards and Technology. So it's got uh, instructions on how to use it, proper uh, proper use and procedure, maintenance, service. There's not a whole lot to a torque wrench, you guys. Anybody that's clicked on this video, chances are you've either owned one or used one. So we don't need to really look much more into this. Here's the... Uh, The certificate, the, the certificate of calibration. You can see that they do several tests. They set the torque at 20, 60, and 100, and they test it in both clockwise and clock counterclockwise. And you can see that the readings at uh, let's see, a clockwise at 20.168 uh, foot pounds. It's at uh, point one at zero point eight percent 
uh, accuracy and then at 60.984 foot pounds it's at 1.6 and at uh, 99.99 it is at 0.0 percent within spec which that's actually pretty decent because uh, any reading I've done on torque wrenches have pretty much explained that um, you don't you don't typically want to use a torque wrench uh, to its limits so if your a torque wrench is rated at 10 um, to 100 you don't really want to trust the reading at 100 and you don't want to trust it at 10 you'll be close but it won't be exact but this one seems pretty good now at counterclockwise um, you can see it's all it's all under one percent um, at 61.31 in the counterclockwise it's uh, within 2.2 percent and then I guess this is I guess the first second and third attempt and it's got the uh, date of calibration the operator the supervisor so that's uh so we have the calibration certificate right here now here's the wrench So, uh, let's see if I could find it where it says it here. It says, made in USA, US and foreign parts. So this was something that I was curious about and I did a little bit of research online. Uh, I went on various forums. I went on onto the uh, Garage Journal forum, which they, they have a, a lot of information on these. And sorry about these fingerprints, you guys. It's a really humid day here in, uh, in Southeast New York. And I'm in my, my shed, that's where I do my videos, and it's real muggy. So, um, in doing my research, uh, the general consensus seems to be, and, and this is going by uh, uh, a snap-on rep who posted on one of the forums, and another person who, who contacted CDI to get confirmation, basically they said that essentially the internal components uh, of these uh, torque wrenches are the same as the snap-on branded uh, torque wrenches uh, the only exception being is uh, is this ratcheting head which is that's locked right now is this ratcheting head this ratcheting head is uh, is made by a foreign manufacturer I couldn't dig up the information on who's making it um, but I would imagine it would have to be a reputable company um, being that if Snap-on is going to put their name, I mean, even though it's not branded Snap-on, it's, it's CDI and, um, and it's, uh, and, you know, Snap-on is attaching their name to CDI saying that, you know, CDI is a, is a Snap-on company. Um, I would imagine that even with their, uh, industrial tool line or their CDI tool line, they would have, uh, quality components and quality manufacturers also so uh, anything I've read about these torque wrenches has been good and um, I was really excited to get it because I really didn't want to pay the snap-on price you know I, it's 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 a big premium for the name I know they make good tools uh, that'll last a long time and you know in commercial use but again I'm not I'm not a professional mechanic I'm a, I'm a home hobbyist so I can't justify the snap-on prices, but if I can get the snap-on quality or close to it for a good deal, I'm gonna do that. And um, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, it's it's a nice uh, torque wrench. I mean, it's got a nice feel to it. It's got this this nice hard uh, plastic handle, and um, the way you set the torque on this is no different than any other, you know, most other torque wrenches. Uh, it's got some torque wrenches have like a knob that you lock down here to lock the the torque in. This has a a collar that pulls back, and then you know you simply you simply spin the uh, the, the, the 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 shaft, and then when you get it to where you want it calibrated, you lock it. And actually, um, if you're kind of off a little bit. 
it's got detent, so it'll stop. See, 4.5, 4, 4, 4, 3. So it's got a nice, you know, you don't have to you don't have to use three hands here. You don't have to jostle it around too much. You just basically turn it to where you want it and then lock it and that's it versus my older torque wrench. This is the first torque wrench I ever bought. I don't even think it has any brand markings on it. It's an it's a half inch torque wrench. I think rated up to 150. Um, you know, this you have to you, you turn the knob. Well, you have to make this make sure this is through. You turn the knob, you get it to the setting that you want, and then you have to tighten it down to lock it. Uh, I, I definitely prefer the uh, pulling back the collar and locking it that way. This was a decent torque wrench. I mean, I've had it for a long time. I, I can't speak too much about the accuracy on it. Um, I don't know if maybe I forgot to back it out one day. Which, by the way, if you don't know this about about these style torque wrenches. Um, you got you got to back them out so there's no no tension in the internal springs. Otherwise, uh, they'll 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 have kind of like a memory to them, and your your torque settings are going to be off. So always make sure to back them down to the lowest setting. But I mu I don't know if I must have uh, must have forgotten to back it down. I don't think so. I'm usually pretty good about that. Or maybe the last person I lent it to. Um, but I started getting inaccurate torque. Uh, you know, to torque with this, you know, it would click and then it wouldn't click and like the ratcheting action is kind of kind of sloppy. So I figured, you know what, I think I probably paid like 30 bucks for this a long time ago, but time to go, you know, and out with the old in with the new. So uh, I wanted to try out this one. Um, I'm going to need a, 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 two more torque wrenches um, because again, mentioning before, uh, you don't want to operate these too close to the limit because they, 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 they get less accurate uh, towards the limit, higher or lower. So I figured generally I'm going to be using, um, for most of most of my, my usage, it's going to be within this torque range uh, in 3 8 drive. The next uh, torque wrench I want to get is going to be a half inch drive, and it's probably going to be, I don't know, 80 to... Uh, 250 foot pounds something of that nature whatever the half inch version of this is um, that'll get me you know to at least 200 foot pounds that's probably what I'm gonna get and then I also want to get an inch pound torque wrench that'll uh, get me up to you know convert conversion I don't know what it is in inch pounds but up to 20 foot pounds if I were to convert inch pounds to, to foot pounds to get me up to 20 foot pounds so I don't know if that's like 250 inch pounds. I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, but you get the idea. I, I want to get three torque wrenches um, so so that they can overlap their their torque ranges. So I'm not using any one of them to their limit. And that way, any torque wrench that I'm using for the application will be used well within its limits and at its uh, peak uh, accuracy rate. This is something you know when it comes to torquing. There's certain tools I'll cheap out on, um, you know, because because if a wrench breaks, it breaks. What are you gonna do? You buy a wrench, whatever. But if you're torquing down a cylinder head or uh, you know uh, mains on an engine, you want to make sure that you have consistent, accurate torque ratings. Now, you know, I don't want to spend three or four hundred dollars on a on a on a on a torque wrench, but 135 for uh, a 3 8 drive torque wrench it's made by the same company that makes you know that, that that's that, that supposedly sells the industry best why not i'll do that i'll try that out especially since these have a really great uh reputation so what else what else to look at these um the, the one thing and I, i'm not sure how i feel about this quite yet but the numbers they're they're uh, they're legible. They're plenty legible, actually. Um, you see now, in a lot of tools, they're doing a lot of this acid etching in the finish, and uh, it's great. Uh, I'm sure if tools get scratched up a lot over time, the acid etching, you know, kind of, you know, becomes less and less legible. Um, other torque wrenches have have them engraved, which is I think is probably better, but. You know, this is a this is a precision tool. Um, it's not something that should really get beat up and scratched up. It's something that 
um, just like uh, dial indicators or calipers or anything like that you should you should treat uh, you should treat very delicately it's something that you should wipe down after you use you should put them in their case it's not something you should slap around on a table so for this purpose I think the acid etching is okay um, I don't think I'd like it on my sockets um, things like that to get a lot of abuse but something like this a precision tool why not let me wipe this down a little bit this condensation very humid so yeah um, I haven't gotten a chance to play with it too much I um, I did put it on a bolt just to kind of uh, to, to see how audible the click is um, it's got a nice uh, solid click to it when once you read the reach the the torque spec um, obviously when you when you're further down the line that the click is a little bit lighter than if you're you know higher up in the torque field like if you're at 45 foot pounds it's, it's more of an audible click when you're at like 15 foot pounds it's a, it's a lighter click um, but you definitely uh, feel it in if you feel it in the handle it's audible and it, and it's, it has a nice positive click to it once you reach the settings and uh, I do like the fact that uh, it will uh, torque in in both uh, in both directions not that I've ever come across in a situation where I would have to torque in the opposite direction, but you never know. It's always good to have that versatility. If any of you guys know of a situation where you would torque, uh, torque counterclockwise, let me know. I'm curious myself. Um, always up for learning new things. So, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, when I was shopping around for this torque wrench, I looked high and low on YouTube uh, to find a video for this particular torque wrench and I couldn't find one I think I found one but it didn't it wasn't really a close-up video it didn't say too much about it um, so you know hopefully this will help help the next guy that's looking for a torque wrench wants a quality torque wrench but doesn't want to spend uh, the big uh, tool truck prices I think that this is a nice alternative all right well till next time Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, please like the videos because it goes a long way. Um, and tune in to, uh, to see more tool-related videos. Please check out my other videos here, here, and here. And hit that subscribe button right here once again. Uh, thanks again and have a great day.